In this video I am going to animate this character using the Mixo animations. In the previous tutorials we have made the Ragnar Lothbrook metahuman and then we dress it up with a free cloth. If you haven't seen these videos please check out the description. I will put a link to these videos. So let's get started. To animate the character using the Mixomo animations uh, we need a software called Mixomo Converter. Search for Mixomo Converter and you can download it from triplicestudio.fr. First you have to download the game platform. Click on direct download and download the launcher. Open folder. Right click on it and extract to Tribble Studio Launcher. And open this Tribble Studio Launcher. Because we need to download the Mixomo Converter and it's inside this Tribble Studio Launcher. Go to the store, Mixomo Converter, and click on download. You have to install the Tribulus Studio Launcher to be able to download this Mixomo Converter. Wait a moment, the Mixomo Converter to be downloaded. Click on this button and go to the location of the downloaded file and open Mixomo Converter. In the incoming FPX folder, you have to put uh, your downloaded animations from Mixomo. In many cans folder, there are some uh, skeleton that you have to upload to Mixomo. For example, as we using the Unreal Engine 5, we have to upload the Queen, SKM Queen, to the Mixomo and in outgoing FPX, the anim converted animation shown here. Open Mixomo. If you are using the Mixomo's website for the first time, you need to sign up for free. Click on this button and you can log in to the website using your Gmail. As I already uh, have an account, I will log in to the Mixomo website. Okay, Mixomo will open. On the left, uh, you see some ready animations that you can download and put it on your MetaHuman or other characters. Uh, there are 48 animations per page and there are 52 uh, pages. If you multiply 48 by 52, you see that there are about 2500 animations in Mixamo website. In the middle, you see the default character of Mixamo. Uh, you can rotate around the character with the left click. With the right click, you can zoom in and zoom out. And with the middle click or middle mouse, you can pan uh, in the viewport. You see these uh, icons on, on this left. Click on it and you can rotate easily. Click and pan. Click and zoom and zoom, zoom in and zoom out. I won't do uh, I, I won't use these buttons. I, I use left click, uh, right click and the middle mouse. Before uh, we choose an animation for our character, we need to upload the SKM Queen to the Mixamo website. Go to the Mannequins Queen Unreal Engine 5 and upload the SKM Queen. Click on Upload Character and just like that, upload this one. Wait a moment. In the Auto Rig window, you see that the Queen character uh, has a skeleton and has a rig so click on next button click on next and skm queen will replace the default character and uh, why would i do that because the skeleton of uh, the default mixamo character is different than the skeleton of skm queen so we replace it with our uh, character in Unreal Engine 5 so when we apply an animation it will uh, automatically recognize the skeleton for example I'm looking for uh, some walk animation search for walk and as you can see 
there are a lot of walk animations I am going to choose this one and start walking on the left there are some settings for example uh, with overdrive you can speed up the animation you see if we decrease the number it will be slow I will put it on 50 in character arm space you can increase the distance between hands and the body uh, for example if the hands go through the body you can increase this number I will put it for example on 60 or 62 you see the distance between hands and body uh, are increased if I put it on 100 you see what happened I put it on 50 uh, you can trim the animation as well or mirror the entire animation the settings are different for uh, different animations you can play with the settings and uh, see what happened now we can download the animation click on download button and format is on FBX skin without the skin because we don't need the mesh and I don't change the settings and click on download I will choose the standard walk as well download without the skin and I will search for stop walking this one for example and I will download this one as well so we have three animations and I want to convert all of them to metahuman and put on my character go to the download location and cut all of them go to the folder and paste it on incoming fbx as i said you have to place the uh, animations downloaded from mixamo to this folder and launch mixamo converter click click on enter the conversion process scroll down and you see these three animations click on click here to convert the animations and it will be converted automatically if I click on this button you see all the animations are in outgoing FBX folder now we need to import the animations into the Unreal Engine but before that we need to activate the third person project right click on the content section add features or content pack and select the third person and add to project because we need the skeleton of this many queen and that's why we add this to our project close it go to the content characters and meshes and you see the SKM queen this is exactly the one we uploaded into the Mixamo and uh, we need to apply the animation to this character first and then retarget it to MetaHuman I'm using the version uh, 5.4 and in this version um, you can retarget the animation very easily just by one click okay go to the MetaHuman I'm creating a folder called animation and I will import all of them to this section and choose SKM SK Many Queen. You see this one and click on import all. You see the, all these three animations will be imported into the program and now you can convert it to metahuman just right click on it 
and click on retarget animation this uh, option uh, added to, to version 5.4 so if you have the older version update your unreal engine to version 5.4 and you can use the retarget animation section and in the target section you can choose your metahuman skeleton if you don't know uh, which one is your metahuman skeleton open your metahuman blueprint viewport click on body and on the right you see this uh, skeleton a skeleton mesh asset m met on narrow body so uh, we go back to the retarget section m med narrow body this one is the body of our metahuman i will select it and i will double click on the animation we already imported this one start walking double click on it and you see the animation from the many queen skeleton will be retargeted to the metahuman then click on export animations and choose a location to save the animation i will go to the ragnar animations export and click on export you see we already converted one animation just click on just double click on this and it will be converted so easy in the previous versions you had to retarget the animations manually uh, and you need to export this animation and re-import the animation into the uh, into the unreal engine and select the uh, meta human basic skeleton but in version uh, 5.4 uh, the process of uh, retargeting is so easy just uh, select the target skeletal mesh and double click on the animation and it will be converted uh, easily without any problem you see now we can remove this uh, many queen skeletal animations so i will right click on it and select delete save all now we can uh, create a level sequence add level sequence we call it for example test walk animation I will add the Ragnar MetaHuman to this section. I will delete the MetaHuman control rig and face control rig. And from the body, animations, search for start walking. You see? So easily we could uh, able to animate the character I can add the stop walking animation as well if you see something strange happened uh, when it start the second animation the location of the character will be reset to the first position you see the character start moving from here and when it reaches to the second animation the location of the character will be reset to the first position to fix it um, first go to the second animation and disable the snapping tool and place the second animation just after the first one it shouldn't overlap on each other I will put it exactly after this one and uh, you have to check his foot uh, if you see the right one is on the floor 
so this uh, foot should be stationary and it shouldn't move um, move the CTI to the first frame of the second animation here right click and from match with this bone in previous clip uh, search for foot right and click it you see with this easy step we were able to fix the problem and the foot is stationary in the position and the second animation will continue the first one so easy we can extend the number of frames to here and we can play the animation from the beginning You can move the second animation a little to the left to overlap the first one just a little bit, not too much. I guess it's, it's enough. A little overlap is enough. So you don't see any glitch or any problem when when you play the animation I will overlap it a little more you see without any problem we were able to download any animations from Mixamo and place it on our character, metahuman character or other characters in Unreal Engine 5.4. I hope you like this video tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and leave uh, your comment and like the video. Thank you so much.